guys but today we're talking about how to apply to medicine in Bulgaria or in Europe um, quite a few of you guys have been asking me how I applied messaging me on Instagram so I wanted to do a video just to let you know how I got into medical school and then how you guys can also I kind of went briefly about it in my other videos but this is a video that is focusing on that so um, what happened was I wanted to study medicine in Italy because I am Italian and I have an Italian passport but I live in the UK so um, what happened was I didn't get into the UK so I wanted to get do med school but like outside of the UK so um, Italy was my first choice because um, I researched about studying in Europe and stuff like that and I knew that if I went to Italy because I'm Italian I would get a lot of benefits so that's what I wanted to do so I sat the IMAT um, I sat the IMAT three times and I didn't get in <laughs> this is because the IMAT is more of a ranking system so even if you said the threshold was 20 but once you hit that threshold they would just calculate for from the top so whoever got the highest mark and then if they wanted to take 10 people in they will start from the top and then cut it off at 10 people so even if you did pass which i passed all three times but it just depended if someone did better than you so and there was about there were about 4,000 people that applied each time and it just kept on getting more and more and there were about 100 places so it was very very hard to get in um but i had a friend that was studying in pleven bulgaria and she told me you know why don't you apply to bulgaria um i had never looked at bulgaria but when she said it i said okay i'll have a look i am the kind of person that i like to research a lot i research and research and research and research so number one do your research do your googles research europe has a lot of countries and there are a lot of different places that you can end up bulgaria is just one of the european countries that allows you to study medicine um i said italy was one of them um we have france um spain um romania all these other places but you need to research and prioritize according to like cost and stuff like that so italy is actually i think one of the cheapest um places for med school but it is so competitive that in my uni right now there are a lot of italians that are actually here because they didn't actually get in in italy so when i did my research um bulgaria was cheaper than romania and i did not want to go um also i looked at czech republic and i also looked at ukraine as well um, you just need to look at all these places and see the price, how much they offer and stuff like that. So when I did my research, um, Bulgaria was actually cheaper than Romania and Czech Republic. The issue that I had with them was um, how easy it was for me to like transfer from, from Czech to the UK. So you need to see because some of these unis... Um, some of these unis you will go you will get your degree but when you come back to the uk you need to see am i going to be able to start working straight away or do i have to do a conversion or something of the sort because some of them will tell you that and you won't be able to work straight away or you won't be able to do f1 f2 so you need to look into those things so bulgaria i knew for sure would allow me to study and then come back to the uk and even now they've started a new thing called the uk mlas which are um like a test that you would do when you come back from europe even uk students are gonna start doing it but it's not set to start till 2022 2023 literally i just oh i just kind of <laughs> I will miss it so I am so happy I don't have to do that test but um that's something that they're trying to roll out so that UK students have to do it and students that are coming from Europe have to do it just because there's so many different European countries I just want to make sure that you all know the same thing you're all doing the same thing um that's something that you need to also think about 
if you study medicine outside of Europe, you have to do the PLAB. And even if you study medicine in Europe, but you're not an European citizen, you're not EU, you're not EEA, you still have to do the PLAB. Because I have friends that are Nigerian that are studying in Bulgaria with me, but if they want to come work in the UK, they have to do the PLAB. And also, in Bulgaria, where I am right now, when I finish, I have to do the IELTS. Um, that's because the public in Bulgaria do not really speak English that well. So IELTS means that, um, it just means that I'm able to speak English well, even though I am from the UK, but we still have to do the IELTS. It's just a test that you just have to do. Yeah, so you just have to do your research. Research that, research the prices, research also the, um, the cost of living. The cost of living when I applied to come here, it told me it was 200 pounds, which is a big lie. It is more like <clears throat> 400, 500 pounds cost of living in Pleven and it's even more when you're in Sofia because things are expensive over there when you're in Plovdiv. If you want to apply to Bulgaria now, in Bulgaria itself there's a lot of different universities. So um, the main places are Sofia, Pleven, um, Plovdiv, Starazagora, um, Varna, I think those are the main five places so you will then have to research into the different universities and see you know how you feel in which one you you know you want to do more Pleven has this thing I think it's the only one in, I don't know why but we start the school year in February so we start in February and then we end it in February the next year that's just what it is here in Pleven but in other you know universities like Plovdiv they start in September um so when I did my research then I approached an agency the agency I used before was Medical Doorway I think I told you guys before I think I don't know if they've changed their names or whatever's going on but that's the agency I used what an agency does is they are in touch with the universities in Europe in Bulgaria and they will kind of go to the uni and kind of get you a place so you will send them your results your certificates da, 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 and they will try and get you a place at the uni they sort everything out okay so that the different agencies paid or unpaid you just need to figure out what agency is best for you um the one that i recommend right now is medconnect that's because I kind of have an understanding of how it works um, and I trust them. So I, I said I came in with medical doorway and stuff and that was good. Um, there was a guy that I spoke to, Tony, he was a G, he's no longer there but he was the one that kind of helped me through everything. The thing that I was a bit iffy about medical doorway was they didn't give us 100% real tea. So they said we're going to get loans, we haven't, none of us have gotten any loans and they were in, like, they were with the uni, so obviously they are in constant communication with the uni, they had a meeting in London before I came here and the uni was there, the uni were, there, were, there were people that represented the uni at this little meeting, little conference, little day and they you know told us you know this is what it's gonna be like but they didn't tell us that there were not gonna be any loans when they knew there were not gonna be any loans and also another thing that I feel like they did not give us the full information was um, the difficulties and you know stuff like that and I just feel like just you know tell us how it is um, MedConnect on the other hand is an agency that I know that it's done with students in mind because they know how it is to live here they know how it is to be in Bulgaria so what they have done previously um, last year we had an, um, a conference where they actually brought people from the GMC this is the General Medical Council from the UK the conference was to put us at ease so that even though we are you know going through brexit and all these things all these changes 
the general medical council still needs students that have um that are coming from europe coming from bulgaria that are uk residents to come back to the uk and work and they just you know put us at ease that there's a lot of things they're trying to do to make sure that we can come back and we can work with no issues no problems so it was a good conference they put on this um conference just to help students so that's why i'm i feel like with medconnect they really do care about the students they have a thing where now what they're doing is in summer of this year obviously now with the whole situation with the virus i don't know um if that might be postponed or whatever the case is but they're planning to do an entry test in the uk in the summer i know that nowadays when when i came we did our entry test when we already had a place but now they are doing an entry test as a requirement for you to get a place and people have had to travel to bulgaria before being um offered a place just to confirm that you know they passed the test and everything but now medconnect is offering the test in the uk so you don't have to fly out to bulgaria you can get the test done in the uk and then you know you know if you've been offered a place which is amazing um, another thing with MedConnect that um, they do is um, when the students are coming to Bulgaria and everything they try to help them with accommodation if the student needs help with accommodation which is amazing um, because you know when you come here I told you guys in my story time that I have moved four times so um, they help you with accommodation and then now what I know what they've been doing because there was um, a conference that I was supposed to attend um, this month but obviously because of the whole virus and the pandemic it's been postponed but they were getting people to teach us um, as a student how to prepare to go back to work in the UK and they're gonna help people to get jobs back in the UK it's okay for you to be here but then you need to also figure out when I finish this whole thing how am I gonna work in the UK how easy it's gonna be previously we've not had the uni has not well my uni has not had a set okay this is what you do this is what you do and, but MedConnect is now trying to do a thing where it's like they are in cahoots with the UK to try and get students that are studying abroad, studying in Europe, through them to come back to the UK and work, which is amazing. Like they're going above and beyond for the students and helping us to also not just our degree, but then after that to actually get jobs after that as well. So that's amazing. I'm happy because I feel like it's a better agency than I've like seen. I've heard of horror stories of people getting scammed by agencies and then coming here and then you know having no place, um, lying to them, taking their money. Um, so if you need a really really good agency I would recommend MedConnect. I'll put the link below and if you guys contact them or whatever tell them i sent you let them know that it's me <laughs> i sent you i appreciate them i appreciate what they're doing because you guys know i started this youtube channel to help um people that are studying abroad that need help that are in my situation that have no one that can help them because when i was applying i did go through forums and stuff but for you to see what someone's going for on a day to day i appreciate that and i appreciate when you guys send me messages saying that you appreciate the fact that i'm you know breaking it down giving you the real tea telling you everything being completely honest so that's basically how i got to bulgaria when you come to bulgaria you don't have to come to pleven there's other universities in bulgaria that you know you can look into there's other agencies that you can look into as well but yeah um if you have any questions let leave them down below i'll be answering them and if you have any questions for another q a video put them down below as well thank you guys so much for watching this video stay safe talk to you guys later bye